the, pa the Patriot Act of 2001, well, of course, that is the thing that came through um, after those attacks. Not that it wasn't largely written before the attacks. Um, it grants law enforcement the right to search your homes, tap your phones, track internet use. Um, for people suspected of terrorism for four years, I mean, I don't know what it takes to be suspected of terrorism. Because, you know, if you look at someone the wrong way, they might suspect you of terrorism. Um, he has voted to continue the war um, in Iraq while claiming to oppose it. I mean, continue funding it. What I mean by that is sending more money over to support that effort at the same time saying, oh, we vote against this. Saying, oh, we don't have enough people to override a presidential veto um, to vote for withdrawal of troops. Well, okay, you may not have that, but you don't need to have a supermajority to fail to um, to pass a budget. In fact, you do need a majority to pass a budget. A majority of Congress has voted to continue funding the war. It reminds me of an episode of South Park where I don't remember if it was, I think it was Eric Cartman who said the great thing about democracy is you can claim to believe one thing while you're doing something else. And that's exactly what the Democratic Party is doing right out of Eric Cartman's playbook. Um, I, I like the Constitution mostly the way it is and the degree I'd like to change it would be to the point of, for instance, um, removing things such as the 16th Amendment. That and in other words, in the direction of less federal jurisdiction over the states, not more. Um, if there's issues that one believes is the government properly needs to control um, in the private realm or in the economic realm, the level to do that at is at the state level. The federal government um, basically should just be keeping the country together as far as dealing with protecting everyone in general, managing conflicts between states but not dictating internal policy in matters of law and you know, um, financial transactions and so forth within the state boundaries. That's out of, that's out of order. Whole, he, um, Kyle Levin voted to create a Homeland Security Department and to keep detention and interrogation camps at Guantanamo. Well, I, I heard some people even complaining, oh, we've suddenly given rights to terrorists and we give them trials. No. Um, there's something called the presumption of innocence. Yeah. You're innocent until proven guilty? Yeah. The fact is, there's never been, as far as I know, any rights given to terrorists by our government or to criminals other than the right to be free of cruel and unusual punishment. The other things that people keep calling rights of criminals and rights of terrorists are rights of the accused. Yeah. It's not like the government says you're guilty and then you get a trial to show if they're wrong. This is not an appeal of a, of a verdict of guilt being pointed at you. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. And you, like I said, go to BowmanOE.com you get a lot more information about it. I'll, I'll wrap this up. And I encourage you to ask about policies. Oh, you know, like about things. Well, here, I'm just going to name some of my issues. Ask the other candidates about their point of view on this. I'm not going to put words in their mouth. And I'll pick on Kyle Levin because he's an incumbent. But, you know, and, and, get your, and find out what they really think. Um, I, I say support our troops and bring them home to Iraq. And the IRS, replace it with more freedom. Now, I know someone in my party might be for a fair tax, but we can actually fund, without the IRS, without the income tax, the government can still spend it the levels they did in 2000, and that's pretty substantial. Um, and the Federal Reserve inflation tax and return to honest money. See how the other candidates are on that issue. Stop big government obstacles to healthier choices, includes FDA harassment of supplement providers. Right. and allow the states their own jurisdiction as to whether or not they want to legalize medical marijuana, right. protect individual privacy, repeal the ID Act, um, spend money only as authorized by the Constitution, right. stop financial dependence on foreign nations, and vice versa. We don't need to subsidize Japan and Germany's military. They're fully capable of handling their own defense if we let them. Never surrender United States sovereignty to supranational bureaucracy, um, you know, including like getting letting our be controlled or by these organizations or get too wrapped up in anything like GAP, NAFTA, the NAL, and definitely not the North American Union. That is a ridiculous idea, and they deny it at the same time they're trying to push us in that direction. Restore habeas corpus, repeal the so-called Patriot Act, um, begin plans strategically close military bases abroad, and the so-called war on drugs, at least at the federal level. Which is right. Thank you.